the great pretender, the living legend, uh, Mr. Ulrich, Ulrich Adrian Farrell, known as the living legend or the great pretender. Pretender, welcome to uh, Culture Share. Thank you very much. So how do you feel? I feel all right. How, how, is, how has the great one been? Pardon? How has the great one been? How, how have you been? I'm always one way cool as ever. Cool as ever that's and classic. That's my motto. And classic. Cool and, well, I, that's all the calypso that I sing, whether it's humor, uh -huh. political, or social commentary, I always be. Classical. Classical. Why do they call you the living legend? I've been singing calypso now 62 years, from 1929. 1929? 12 years of age. And you started at the age of 12? Yeah. Wow, you still actively performing? I, mean, well, I know you're going to be performing tomorrow, but you still actively, um, you know, in Trinidad and Tobago, you still actively perform? Every year in the tent. Every year in the tent. Yeah. Which tent are you currently attached to? This, uh, year, this year I sang at the mass camp. Mass camp. Miss right. Paro, Stalin, uh -huh. Super Blue. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the Prince Unique was there. Prince Unique. Well, the great ones. Now, um, you say you started at the age of 12. What was it like then, in 62 years ago? What was well, it like, it, you know, singing Calypso music? It wasn't like now, in those days. You don't no tent, no tent like now, so. Uh -huh. You walk in any tent and sing. Uh -huh. That but was those days, you didn't yeah. have to walk with a demo and, you it, know, it, get rehearsed and all of that? Eh? You know, in those days, did you... didn't you... have really much more demo. Oh, okay. So you were just walking to a tent and just singing. You had singing. to prove yourself a, a calypso. Yeah. On the stage? Yeah, no record or radio or nothing like that. So how, how did you audition to get uh, attached to a tent? Did... There are no audition. You walk in, uh -huh. and you see the calypso and you want to sing. Because when I went, they didn't want me to sing. I executed her. Uh -huh. I'm one of the greatest of all time. He said, the boy has to sing. If he says that. Singer, yeah, a calypso, and the other sing. So you went on stage and started singing calypso. I sang. What, what, what was the reception like your first time on stage? What was the audience the, the, reaction? The, I sang a terrible song when I was 12 years of age. A, a I terrible could still song? remember the first verse of the song I sang. I sang. A, I'm living fine. This 1929. No woman at all do this to me, mind. I'm living fine. This 1929. The woman at all to this to my mind. For what the woman want is just what I need. Therefore on me they cannot succeed. For when you can't come up with the dough, they chuck out your bundle until you go. Oh, mash up the tent. That's classic Calypso. Little Listen, boy. Uh, you, you, you mash up the tent, that's it. I mean, have you, since you've been performing, have you actually won any um, monarchy competitions? Any, like, Calypso King? I tried win king in the tent. <laughs> but I won the national monarch in 1957. Uh-huh. With what song? It was a song called Oh, okay. Kissera, the, uh, the name of the song was Why Pretender Suffering So. Oh, uh, okay. Why Pretender Suffering So? But the chorus ended with Kissera, whatever will, will be, will be. be. The future will not be. us, you see. Kissera, Kissera. Okay. Now, um, so you, 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 you won the monarchy, the national competition, what year you said, 50? 50, 57. 57. What happened from 57 onwards? I mean, what were some of your bigger, bigger hits? Well, I know, if I talk in the song boastful, every year is a big hit. Every no, year you, sing, you, you, you're the great one. Every you're year I sing ones. a big I mean, song, every year, every year God sing. Now, well, when I say big one, I mean in terms of... this year, this year I sang the cause of the coup. The cause of the coup? Yeah, different to everybody else. In 91? Yeah. What was it, I mean, what was the feedback like? I mean, how did the public, you know? Well, honestly, no, I don't want to talk this thing. I get 10 standing ovations with the Kaiso season going here. Okay. You mean when you performed? Every night. 10. Mm -hmm. A week I get three, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Every People. time I sing, I'll build short now the MC. Uh huh. He can't he can understand it. <laughs> you mean the audience actually wants you to come back and yeah. sing? Well, well, they'll start and come here. I had a beg to come off. <laughs> you had a beg to come off. Uh, okay. Now, Every folks, time you call me, I sing a, a new verse. A new verse. Okay, folks, this is Culture Share, and we're talking live to Mr. Aldrich, uh, uh, Ulrich Adrian Farrell, the yeah. great pretender, the living legend. Now, if you had to say one thing about the state of Calypso today, uh, what's the comment you would make right now? 
The Calypso ain't what it used to be. Calypso uh -huh. now is more music. More music, less lyrics. Calypso is lyrics. The real Calypso is lyrics. Uh -huh. With music. Mm -hmm. The long time my competition was 50 point lyrics, 30 point music, and 10 for presentation. For presentation. Long time. Mm -hmm. Now, the latest one I hear, I see they have an independent competition coming up. They say 35 points for, for lyrics, topic, I know what I mean. 30 points for music and 35 points for performance. When me and Kitchen want to know, always performance. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand it. You don't understand this. No. Now, so what do you think the state of Calypso is today? The, 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 the art form, as you know it, the, compared the, to what it is the today? The music is plenty better. Plenty better? The music. I mean, in terms of. Um, in the terms of this kind of soca, Calypso. Uh -huh. But the, the lyrics is nil. What, what is your personal opinion about soca, man? What do you think about soca uh, yes, music? Soca is sweet, sweet music. Sweet music. I like soca. You like soca? I like lyrics. But I even say soca has no, no lyrics. Are you kissing and sing soca with lyrics? Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the time. So anybody could, could make any kind. And the next thing people know is, see you sing it. People don't sing soca. The music plays soca. The music plays soca. So People you, sing the lyrics. Yeah, you, you could sing any calypso and they play it in soca. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is uh, the living legend, the great pretender. Now, you're going to be appearing tomorrow at, um, at the Golden Pavilion for the Calypso Classic. And you're indeed, a, you are a classic. Now, what can the folks uh, down in Brooklyn look forward to from the great one at yeah. the Golden Pavilion? Well, they could definitely look forward to some classical calypso. Classical calypso. You want to give us a little bit, of, so let the cat out of the bag a little bit? What can we, one or two of the songs you're going to be doing? I'll sing one. I'll be singing a... Just give a little touch. A tribute, a, a protest song. I made this song in 1943. Okay. Mm. When you are a Negro, it is plain to see, like you are born to suffer misery. And irony. When you are a Negro, it is plain to see, like you are born to suffer misery and tyranny. We all should be race conscious and always be living in unity and tranquility. Mm -hmm. For God made us all, and in Him we trust. So nobody in the world. Ain't better than us. All right, let's save the rest for the audience tomorrow down at the Golden Pavilion. Now listen, um, I want to take this opportunity to uh, really congratulate you, and it's n really nice talking to you. I'm sitting next to uh, the living legend, um, Mr. Farrell, the great uh, pretender. Really nice talking to you. Uh, thank you very much. All right.